everybody doing on this fine Saturday afternoon? It's about 6.30 or so. Yeah, this is a new project going to start here. New project build um, modification. Um, this is the body from the three guitars that I bought from Val P. Remember, I went to that, um, got three busted up guitars. And this is the last bit. Uh, of the five guitars that I created from those three busted up guitars. So this is actually going to become a Hello Kitty guitar. I think I might have talked about this in previous videos. But yeah, as you can see, this is pretty dinged up and it's pretty nasty and pretty dirty. So I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to fill all the dings. I'm going to uh, scratch it up with some uh, 800 grit or maybe I'll go 320 grit sandpaper so it adhere to the, the wood filler and then I'll cover it in wood filler. I'll make a custom Hello Kitty pickguard, handmade. Uh, I'm gonna switch it from volume and a tone to just a volume. I'm gonna put an active EMG 81 pickup. It's gonna be white. It's gonna have the Hello Kitty pickguard. It's gonna be pink. The gu guitar is gonna be pink. I'm gonna do a special version. I'm gonna do a special pickguard. It's gonna be very cool. I'll show you. And uh, this is the neck I got from Amazon. Just came in today. This neck was about $52, and it's pretty decent. It doesn't have the uh, the stripe, the skunk stripe, as they call it. But this was the only Strat-style neck that I can get within, like, two days. I mean, I could have got the other kind for about the same money with the the uh, truss rod. You know, the, you know, they call it the skunk thing. Um, but I kind of wanted the neck soon, and this neck's actually pretty awesome. It's really good quality. Yeah. It's not pink fret markers, but that's fine. It's going to go along with the theme of my Hello Kitty. And I am going to paint the headstock pink, just the front. And I'm going to have the Raglan logo, of course. But, uh, yeah, I already checked the neck, and it fits really well in there. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be a new build starting. And I can't wait to share every step of the way with you on this one. Um, and like I said, I'm just going to start by cleaning it up. And what I usually use to start cleaning things is just some good old-fashioned bug and tar remover i'll spray it oh, i'll spray it on the rag and then i'll get all this gunk off it guitars uh, no telling what it's been through but yeah and then i'll fill in all these dents with uh, body filler uh basically bondo and make it nice and then it's gonna be really epic as usual so it's gonna be another build i can't wait all right and we'll see you soon all right hope everybody's having a good afternoon talk to you later Good morning everybody, another beautiful sunny day here in Central Florida. Time to start the Hello Kitty mod guitar build. Alright, quick update, I uh, cleaned up all the residue and all the gunk off this body. I just wanted to show you what I've got to work with. I mean it's banged up pretty good but not extremely bad. It's not like broken to pieces or anything like that, which I've done. Many guitars are completely broken. So this is just a cosmetic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the tone knob and I'm going to fill all these, you know, the major dents with the, uh, the Bondo wood filler. And actually in the place of the cavity, I'm going to add the 9 volt battery chamber. It's going to set right in there. And then I'm going to make a white cover, custom, you know, made homemade cover, and then put the, uh, you know, all the electronics and everything. So. Alright, and we'll see you next step. And I'm going to sand all this uh, black with 320 and make it really rough. And then we'll go for the wood filler phase. And then I'm gonna check all my measurements to make sure the bridge lines up as far as... And I still got the old bridge, but I put new uh, saddles on it. And I'm going to see if that all lines up and instates and everything like that and we move forward. Okay, we'll see you next step. Alright, got all the body filler. And all the things that I could find, all the significant ones anyway, there might be some small little ones, but yeah. I'll let this harden, which the body filler doesn't take long at all to harden at all. And then I'll sand this with 80 grit sandpaper and get all these bumps down. And then I'll go over it with some 320. And then we'll see how we look and uh, we'll see you on the next step. Okay. Alright, another update on the Hello Kitty guitar modification build. I got everything good to go. I got all the major dings filled. I sanded the whole body and everything's looking good. As you can see, I filled the, uh, the tone knob. So we're just going to have one volume knob with the active EMG pickup, white pickup. 
Uh, Alright, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach the neck, attach the bridge, and do the string test and see if I need to shim the neck and get all that squared away. Then once all that's done and good to go, then we're going to go to the uh, wood filler phase. And then we're going to put a bunch of layers of wood filler on here. And then we usually go through the ugly stage and then get it nice and smooth and sanded and everything like that. Uh-oh, missed the spot. Got to sand that a little bit more. But yeah, alright, and we'll see you next time. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to attach the neck. This is a recycled neck. This is a, or not neck, I'm sorry, bridge. This is the bridge that was on there originally. But I put on some better saddles, screwed in some better saddles. So what I'm going to do now is attach the bridge. And then I'm going to attach, you am going to see, I got, got my strings. I'm going to do a string test where, I'll, you know, I'm going to attach the, you know, place the neck, not attach it just yet. And see how far off we are, if we're close, if we're dead on the money. Then I'll attach the neck, do the string test. And if everything turns out pretty good, then we'll take everything off. And then we'll start the wood filler stage, the ugly stage. And I got it prepped right there. So, all right, we'll see you next step when I put the bridge on. All right, got the neck attached. Looks pretty good. Just want to show you that rock. Yeah, looks pretty spot on. Awesome. I did notice that the bridge, I might have to change position because I set the bridge and the screws to where it was before. This is why you always check your measurements, you never just assume. And it was a little bit, uh, the bridge was a little far left, so I'm going to have to re uh, check it out. Uh, I'll get right back to you. I'll do the uh, I'll do my measurements once I actually recalculated the measurements and now <laughs> you know when I got the neck attached it's actually really close so I think it should intonate fine and the uh, the shim is pretty good I wouldn't have to I don't have to actually shim it any extra and if I did it wouldn't be that big a deal. Uh, I think we're in the ballpark range. Alright so what I'll do now is I'll take off the neck and then we'll start the, uh, the wood filler phase and put some layers of wood filler on there. But yeah, this is uh, going to be a pretty quick turnaround. Alright, we'll see you in a sec. And actually before we go to the uh, the wood filler phase and we start you know, making the body <laughs> uh, beautiful, um, actually I'm going to make the custom, I'm going to make a handmade back uh, plate access panel cover and it's going to have the 9 volt battery that's going to slide in there like that hopefully there's yep i think there's enough room yep there's definitely enough room for the pedometer um, slide that in there like that and then i'm gonna make it out of white material so it's gonna be pretty cool and uh we'll have the white material so the way that i'll do that like i've shown before i'm gonna make the indentation in the paper and then i'm gonna circle it out and then I'm going to trace it over the material, but I'll get to the next step and I'll show you. All right, see you in a sec. Yeah, all right, got the indentation. As you can see, I pressed in there, and then I got my just regular piece of paper, and then I traced out how I'm going to make the back plate cover, and then the 9-volt battery compartment, which I just made that just to see, and then it would go like there, and then I'll cut that, and then it'll drop in, and then let's see. I'll have enough room for the screw, like I'll put a screw in there and then a screw in the end there, and that should be fine. So yeah, so it'll be killer. Alright, we'll see you in a sec. Alright, got it cut out, and actually I made it a little bit longer, because what I did notice, because what I was going to initially do, like I said, when you drop in the 9 volt battery uh, housing, I was just going to catch that screw, but as you can see it doesn't catch the lip because of the curve. And see, I could shave a little bit off there, and I'll probably end up doing that anyway. Just shave off the lip, because that lip is really not necessary. See those two ends? I'll just shave that plastic all the way so it'll have more room. And I'll have more, you know, come more further this way, and I'll have more room for the uh, the volume knob. But I made this a little bit longer, because uh, the 9-volt battery compartment will drop in, and then it'll have its individual screw, and then it'll have a screw on either side. Because the screws that come with, you know, I do have some pretty cool black screws that I can use for this. So there'll be black screws and then silver screws and then the white backplate cover and it kind of goes with the whole scheme of it. Alright, so I'm going to trace this over on the white material and then I got the old scroll saw out and we'll cut it out and then I'll show you the next step. Alright, see you in a sec. Alright, got a piece of the pickguard material and I'm just going to trace this out on there and then cut it out and we'll be right back. 
I got it traced out over there, and now we're gonna cut it out. See you in a sec. All right, got it cut out. Looks pretty good, and it's got the uh, the film, so it's shiny underneath. It is actually shiny on both sides on this particular film. But yeah, I'll peel that. But uh, I'll set this on the guitar, and then I'll trace out where the uh, nine volt battery compartment is gonna go. Probably somewhere like that. And then I'll trace that out, and then I'll cut that out, and then I'll see you in the next step. All right, got it traced out. Now I'll make a access hole. Use the exacto blade. Now let's make a small circle, and then I'll cut that out with the skull saw. All right, we'll see you in a second. All right, got the hole cut out. And and it goes in there like that, and that'll fit right in the back there. And then I'm gonna make some screw holes, and then countersink them. Some screw holes, and then countersink them, and I'll be right back. Alright, we're to the point now where we're going to come up with the custom pickguard. Fired up the computer here, and we're going to draw it out, and we're going to get the proper spacing. It's going to be the Hello Kitty pickguard, and it's going to circumference this whole area. Uh, you're familiar with the Hello Kitty guitars, and my special <laughs> a little added attachment to it. But anyway, so I'll show you every step of how I'm going to create this pickguard. Alright, here we go. Alright, see you soon. Alright, this is how I'm gonna do it. Okay, these are my files of all my Hello Kitty pickguards that I got over the internet. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually make a pickguard similar to that, but I am gonna go with this one. This is the pickguard that I'm gonna use. That's a little special thing that I'm gonna add to it. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. So I gotta come up with the proper spacing and figure out how that's gonna fit with the bridge. Cause uh and I gotta print one out and I'll see you next step. I'm gonna print print on the cry cut machine and I'm gonna figure, you know, the exact and of course I'm gonna fill this in with uh actually use marker, colored marker and fill that in pink. Uh I might not do the skull. Yeah, the skull's pretty cool. But see, I might have to do the ribbons pink with the marker and leave that white because it's a skull and leave that white and then the nose will be yellow. But all right, all right, we'll see you in a sec. All right, got my first attempt queued up. I got it on the, I hope it's the right size, but now we can adjust. I got plenty of black vinyl. All right, I got my machine lined up and I'm getting ready to make it. You go to your continue button the bottom right there continue and I'm gonna go with the same settings as far as the thickness and here we go we're gonna scroll it out once it decides when it's doing okay so it's ready make sure the all the way up hit this button first it'll feed it make sure it lines it up correctly then it's ready and now it's gonna cut out the pattern and so once it does, I'll get back to you and then we'll apply it to the body and see if it matches. I do got, I do have, got, I do have a picture of what the general size should be. That's basically what we're going for right there. So it's cutting it out right now and I'll be right back to you. I'm going to peel the film of the outline out and then cut around it and then we're going to see if it fits correctly. But I'll get you that stuff and then I'll show you. Alright, let's see a second. Alright, did cut it out. Um, of course I didn't put a big enough piece in there. But this is just a test run anyway. So let me cut this out and or peel it out and then cut it out and I'll be right back. Alright, so got my piece cut out there like that. And it's not big enough. I need to make it bigger. You see it doesn't cover like it should. Should go in the center there. Let me pull up the, uh, the example picture here. Yeah, see like that. And this doesn't, it's not quite big enough. It should come beyond. Yeah. So let me make a bigger version. Yeah, it needs to be bigger. Gotta be rolled like that. But yeah, let me make it a little bit bigger. <laughs> but and I'm gonna keep my whiskers. I'm gonna keep the whiskers. Uh, there's gonna be one whisker here I'm gonna keep and 
you know, keep as many whiskers as I can uh, with a thick guard. Um, Cause see on there, they cut the uh, circle off and the whiskers. I don't want to keep my whiskers, but anyway. All right, so let me cut another piece and try to make it bigger. All right, we'll see in a little sec. Hope it's the right size. <laughs> I still got a little bit left though, but I only got a few attempts at this. Right, fingers crossed. All right, there's the shape of the pick card. <laughs> now it's time to put the, on the transfer, the the size and the shape of the pick card. Uh, try and put it on the transfer tape, and then transfer it over to the plastic, and then cut it out. Hopefully everything goes smooth because I don't have any more black. That would be big enough. I would have to order some more. But as long as I have the proper shape, I just gotta cut it out. All right, we'll see you next step. All right, got it transferred over onto the uh, the pick guard material. Woo. It's just nerve wracking because this is just a one shot or none kind of proposition. I mean, I can save it there and get some more material, but uh, whew. all right. Well, let me peel this off and then I'm gonna get it on the uh, bandsaw and then cut it out. Uh, all right. Wish me luck. All right, thanks. All right, got the border traced out on the, the material, the uh, picard material. One ply white, and now I got the scroll saw. Now I'm going to slowly and diligently cut this out, but yeah, I still got to figure out where the bridge cut is going to be and where the pickup cut, or, you know, the pickup cut is going to be. So that's going to be kind of tricky, but we'll figure it out as we go. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got to cut out. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, man, I got to sharpen up some of the edges, of course. I'll do that with an X-Acto blade. But, uh, yeah, and this uh, transfer tape, once you peel that off, then it's going to reveal. But then I got to figure out the neck cut, uh, the bridge cut, and then the uh, pickup cut. Uh, but, uh, whew, we'll do that when I get this cleaned up. All right, see you next time. <laughs> All right, here's the pick guard on the body. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to figure out where, and I traced out some red marks to kind of guide me where the pickguard should be on the body. Um, so this way I know where everything should theoretically be. And then I can set the bridge on here, and then I can trace out where the bridge you know cavity you know where the on the pickguard where I'm going to cut out and then where I'm going to cut out on the bridge and then I got to figure out the EMG 81 where I'm going to cut that out so that's going to be kind of tricky so uh, fingers crossed I'll figure it out and instead of and then oh yeah I forgot that I'm going to trim this a little bit shorter for the uh, you pick the pickup, so I'm gonna have to cut the uh, the vinyl too, just a little bit shorter, so that way the volume knob will have a little bit of more room. And instead of using a Strat style knob, I'm gonna use the Chrome regular style knob. Uh, I don't have one close by. Uh, no, I don't have one close by. But yeah, it's gonna be cool. All right, we'll see you the next step. All right, successful on the bridge and then that cut out. Now I got to cut out for the, uh, the pickup. All right, wish me luck, fingers crossed. All right. All right, marking for where the bridge pickup is going to go. All right, see you in a sec. All right, successful bridge pickup cut out. Sweet. There it is. Pretty cool. Yeah. That's the main pick guard. Of course, I'm going to color this in pink, pink, and then yellow for the nose. Yeah. And I'm going to trim just a little bit on the whisker because I couldn't keep that whisker because it would be close to the edge. I 
progress so far. I'm gonna make the holes for the uh, for the uh, screws and for the springs on the pickup, and we should be good to go for uh, uh, wood filler on the body once I got this done. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, just a quick video update of the Hello Kitty guitar build, just the progress. Got a lot done today. Uh, of course, the pickup's gonna be white, uh, white EMG 81. But this is the basic layout. I elected to go with a chrome knob as opposed to a fender knob. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be cool. And I still be out yet to paint the pick yard. Uh, so. This is just the mock up of what it's gonna look like. Ah, pretty cool. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about putting a cigarette in his mouth too, but I don't smoke, but yeah, and I'm thinking about calling it something else. I mean, the Hello Kitty, but something in front of it, like uh, Angry Hello Kitty or something, you know, some sort of spiteful kind of thing, where it's not so pretty even though it's going to be a pink guitar. <laughs> so, alright, just a quick update, just wanted to show you, and I'll post all the uh, progress pictures of how I got to this point. I just wanted to show you a quick progress. It's about six o'clock. Dog, you tired? I'm tired. So, all right. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll start again and get going. All right. Talk to you later. All right. Ready to mount the uh, to create the holes for the mounting screws. This is the Dremel bit I'm going to use. Um, going to try to mark a hole to where I want to start the uh, Dremel bit, and then the Dremel will do the rest of the work. Um, I'm going to use the Dremel here, and I'm going to use my reference, my Hello Kitty reference there. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put a screw, screws more or less where they are in this particular picture. So that's cool. And uh, fingers crossed it goes well. All right, we'll see you next step. I'm going to start figuring out where they're going to go, and I'll be right back. Alright, got the first screw put in, and that's the hole, and there's the screw, so boom. Okay, seven more like that. <laughs> Eight screws on this small little picker, so I will see you in a sec. Alright, got all the holes drilled and everything correct, so we're good to go. Okay, now we're going to do some paint, and decide I'm going to do just the red on the outer ones, and then yellow. So let me go get me a little bit of spray paint and a tiny little brush and we'll be right back. Alright, got me what I need. And I'll do the yellow little button. <laughs> Wish me luck, I don't have any reaction with the paint or anything. Alright, I'll see you in a second. <laughs> Alright, got the paint finished. It turned out pretty cool. And I like the fact that it's not all uniform color. It's kind of like, gives it like kind of a bloodish kind of quality and it's really cool. Yeah, this behind the pink background on the guitar is gonna set it off and pull. Cool. All right, time to put this aside and get ready to do some wood grain filler. The ugly phase has started on the Hello Kitty guitar build. And, all right, we'll see you soon. All right. all right, time to start applying the wood filler, and we're gonna start the ugly phase. Emma says hi, hey, Emma. Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Active dog cam, active dog cam, wow! Anyway, alright, so, hello kitty, doggy doggies. Alright, we'll see you in a second. Alright, got the first layer of wood filler on the hello kitty. You know, I was thinking I might call it the F-U-H-K guitar. If you can figure out what the letter stands for <laughs> because of the pick card. I think that would be cool to have it listed as F dot Y dot H dot K. Uh, tell me what you think about that. <laughs> That'd be cool. But uh, yeah, this is the first layer. I'm trying to go real thin and I'll just keep putting the layers as it cures. That way I can get a nice even coat. But yeah, everything's going according to plan. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. I'll put a few more coats on. Alright. 